Welcome to IAOCS.com Food Tech Blog. Today's topic is Byproduct Utilization of Fruits and Vegetable Processing. Food wastes are organic residues from the processing of agricultural raw materials to food, which arise as liquid, wastewater, and solid wastes. The wastewater results from the cleaning process or in the form of excessive or polluted processed water. Its dry material content is typically less than 5 percentage by mass. It possibly also contain organic or inorganic cleaning agents or disinfectants. Solid wastes with an organic origin have remarkably high water content, mostly about, mostly about 80 percentage by mass. They are usually characterized by a constant quality and purity due to the foregone processes. The fact that these substances are removed from the production process are undesirable as undesirable ingredients make them, by def definition of most European legislation, as wastes. The term byproduct, which is common in industry, points out that these are mostly ulterior usable substances, often with a market value. Waste disposal is one of the major problems facing most food processing plants. Agriculture, as a traditional way of waste utilization, a consequential outcome because most raw materials are also from agricultural origin is no longer available due to major changes in law and technology. Furthermore, new kinds of process engineering and resultant new products and market makes the utilization of waste increasingly interesting. Waste disposal and byproduct management in the food processing industry pose problems within the areas of environmental protection and sustainability. The current method for further utilization of product specific waste have developed along traditional lines and have been closely bound to the agricultural origins of raw materials themselves. The two general methods of tradition waste, traditional waste utilization have been to use the waste as either animal feed or fertilizer. Many of the existing agricultural solutions of waste disposal are a balancing act between legal regulations and the best ecological and economical solutions. Disposal of this waste can be difficult for the following reasons, biological stability and the potential growth of pathogens. Many types of waste material either already contain large number of microbes or will be altered quickly through microbial activity. If regulations concerning infectious diseases are not properly observed, then hygienically unacceptable conditions can arise, example through maggots or molds. The breakdown of protein is always characterized by the generation of strong odors. High water content. The water content of meat and vegetable waste lies between 70 and 95 percentage by mass. A high water content increases transport cost of the waste. Mechanically, removing the water to use of a press can lead to further problems with waste water disposal due to the high level of organic material in the water. Rapid auto oxidation waste with a high fat content is susceptible to oxidation which leads to the release of false smelling fatty acids. Changes due to enzymatic activity and many types of waste arising from vegetables and fruits, enzymes are still active, which accelerate or intensify the reactions involved in spoilage. Assessment of the origin and the generated mass of the most important types of product-specific food waste, growing products, the most important grain for human consumption are wheat, rice, corn, millet, oats, rye and barley. They are cultivated on approximately 80% of their world's arable land and supply around 50% of the world's population with food. Wheat and rye are ground to flour and wheats in flour meals. Oats are made into rolled oats in oat meals. And rice is hulled in rice meals. Corn is primarily processed to starch and oil, whereas almost all barley is turned into malt. Coffee roasters, silver skins, the external skin which covers coffee beans, is the resultant waste from roasting coffee. Specific waste index of silver skins is 0 0.02 to 0 0.04. Sugar in European countries, sugar is generally produced by extracting sugar beets. There are several kinds of product specific waste, some of which can still be sold as byproducts, like molasses beet pulp. Dairy processing industry, the first waste of all the meat products is sludge from centrifuging the fresh untreated milk.
per ton of centrifuge fresh milk, 275 gram of sediments is generated. This waste must be pasteurized because of its high microbial content. Milk that has been rinsed from the tanks, lines, etc., as well as unusable milk due to processing error or returned products are handled as waste. This type of waste is created through milk production and the production of fluid milk products such as yogurt, pudding or buttermilk at the rate of 0.04 per mass of finished product. The waste resulting from cheese production consists of whey and cheese residue. Whey arises as a result of the protein coagulation in milk. The generated amount of whey and cheese residue is dependent upon the type of the cheese produced. Meat industry, the specific amounts of generated waste vary for each type of animal and the specific waste index range from 0.1 for the sheep to 0.87 in the case of calf. The majority of the waste in the meat industry is produced during slaughtering. Slaughterhouse waste consists of the portion of a slaughtered animal that cannot be sold as meat or used in meat products. Such wastes include bones, tendons, skin, the contents of the gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal tract, blood and internal organ, organs. Egg products in egg processing the in egg processing the originating waste con consists almost only of eggshells, regardless of which egg products, including deep frozen, straight dried or chemically preserved eggs, egg yolks, egg derived lecithin or egg oil are produced. The high variation in the level of accumulated waste can be attributed to the variation in the size of the eggs and the thickness of their shells. The specific waste index of eggshells lies between 0.03 and 0.12 and is calculated using the mass of egg products obtained from the eggs. Handling and marketing wastes of fruits and vegetables. The harvested fruits and vegetables are cleaned, washed, graded according to size and appearance. These are then packed, bagged or loaded in containers for transportation to markets or retail outlets or to the processing unit. A large number and a huge quantity of wastes and byproducts are generated during handling and marketing of fruits and vegetables. The type and quantity of waste depends upon the crop, the packaging material and the duration, time period of handling the produce. Fruits and vegetables are highly perishable in nature and their quality starts deteriorating the moment they are detached from the plant. Environmental conditions such as ambient temperature, relative humidity produced, storage conditions and above all, infestation of microbes in the produce are the main factors responsible for the quality degradation during handling and marketing. After identifying the type of available waste, it is very important to have a knowledge of general characteristics such as physical, chemical and microbiological for deciding their appropriate disposal or utilization. Various types of byproducts available during fruits and vegetable handling and marketing are fruit wastes that include peel, core and trimmings, seed, kernel, stem and pomace, cull fruit, overripe and blemished, bruised and diseased. Vegetable wastes which include seed, skin and trimmings, wine and pots, peel and pomace, husk and cobs, over mature and cull, bruised and diseased. Packaging wastes, various types of types and sizes of packaging materials are used for different fruits and vegetables. Waste generated during handling and marketing due to various packaging are gunny bags, bamboo crates, wooden boxes. Plastic sacks or bag types are of byproducts that is paddy, straw, pine, waste, leaves or any other brushing materials, foam or thermocol, paper bags or corrugated fiberboard boxes. Byproducts from fruit processing. The fruits and vegetable processing industry in India is highly decentralized. A large number of units are in the cottage home scale and small scale sectors having small capacities up to, 20, up to 250 tons per annum. But big Indian and multinational companies in the sector have large capacities in the range of 3 tons per hard or so. In the food processing industries, up to 30% of incoming raw materials become waste rather than a value-added product. Generally, fruit processing waste are either used as animal feed or as compo compost. Specific wastes and byproducts from different fruits and vegetable processing industries and their appropriate uses are such as for apple. A apple is the most important deciduous fruit. They are mainly grown in northwestern Indian states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, and Uttaranchal Hills. 
The northeastern hill regions comprising of the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Manipur and Sikkim also grow some of the deciduous fruits on a limited scale. Major wastes and byproducts of apple processing are pomace obtained after juice extraction, peel obtained during canning and muraba preparation, corn and cull fruits. Apple wastes contain pectin varying from 2.5 to 3.4 percent on fresh weight basis. These wastes can be used for preparation of pectin, cedar, vinegar, chutney, etc. Pomace can be dried and utilized for preparation of pectin. Apple pomace being wheat source of pectin and a fairly good source of sugars can be utilized on a small scale for blending with fruits poured in pectin for the preparation of jam, jellies, etc. which require addition of pectin. Apple chutney can be prepared from pomace, amla, Indian gooseberry. The amla is an important minor fruit. Although it is found growing in different states throughout the tropical India, it is more popular in Uttar Pradesh. It is highly nutritive and is one of the richest source of vitamin C. Fruits are made into preserves, murabba, pickles, dried chips, candy, toffees, powder, juice, sauce, etc. Amla seed is obtained from amla processing industry. The seed can be dried and used in Ayurvedic preparations. Apricot is grown in the drier pockets of northwestern Himalayas and Ladakh areas of Jammu and Kashmir state. Apricot is a small soft fruit with white orange skin. Its kernels are sweet and can be added to jam after removing the seed coat. Generally, there are two types of apricot, namely sweet kernel type and bitter kernel type. Oil can be extracted from kernels and after refining it is just like almond oil and can be used in pharmaceuticals and cosmetic preparations. The oil cake is rich in protein and can be used as cattle feed. The kernels are sometimes used for making macaroon paste which is usually made from almonds. Banana is the cheapest, plentiful and most nourishing of all fruits. It is basically a plant of humid tropics and is grown in southwest and east India. All parts of these plants are useful. Various products like banana chip, banana fig, soft drink, flour and powder, jam etc. can be made. Banana peel and pseudo stem are the main waste products from banana processing. The pulpy portion scraped from thick peel of banana can be used for preparation of banana cheese. Pseudostem of banana can be utilized to prepare paper pulp as well as starch resource for food and feed purposes. Cashew is an important tropical tree crop. It is mostly grown in Malabar coast of India, particularly concentrated in Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Every part of cashew is useful to man. The kernels are of high nutritive value, rich in protein, carbohydrate and saturated fats, minerals and vitamins. The main byproducts are cashew apple, cashew tester and cashew nut shell liquid. Because of its astringent taste and fiber texture, only a small quantity of the annual production of cashew apple is consumed. Types of byproducts locally and a major portion is waste. About 65% of the juice can be obtained from the apple by extraction. The juice after removal of astringent astringent and acid principles has been found to be suitable for a variety of beverages like clarified juice, cloudy juice, and juice blended with other fruit juices. Cashew apples can also be used for the preparation of cashew apple candy, syrup, canned cashew fruit, fruit chutney, curried vegetable, pickle, etc. The brown thin skin covering the cashew kernel is called the cashew tester. It is a byproduct of the cashew processing industry. Cashew tester is a good source of tannin. At present, this is mostly wasted or occasionally used as a manure in small quantities. However, the disposal of this product is a big problem. Quite often, storage of this husk is found as a ready place for dry volume and so is hazardous in the cashew factories. The reddish brown viscous liquid inside the two layers of the cashew shell is a versatile industrial raw material known as cashew shell liquid. Its major application is in the manufacture of cashew liquor, cashew cement, laminating resins, rubber compound resins, brake linings, intermediate for chemical industry, epoxy resins, foundry chemicals, composite wood, insulating varnishes, electrical windings, electrical conductors, coating compositions, water and weather proofings, specialized protection coatings and composition based on cardanol. Citrus, the most important commercial citrus in India is mandarin orange followed by the sweet orange and acid limes. Besides being used as fresh fruits, the citrus fruits are processed into marmalade, juice, concentrate, powder and canned product. The flowers, leaf, 
safe and drink the citrus contain oils of good fragrance and have good commercial value other commercial products are citric acid and pectin made primarily from cull and unmarketable marketable foods in case of citrus fruits major waste materials are peel wax seeds and sludge from lime and oranges the peel can be utilized for getting peel oil which has number of uses the rocks can be used for preparation of citrus party marmalade and orange toffee the dried rock can also be used as cattle feed coconut is most beautiful and useful tree of tropics this crop is considered of economic importance in the state of kerala tamil nadu karnataka and andhra pradesh this has more than 90% of the total production of the crop in the country there are number of industries which are directly or indirectly depend upon coconut farm Coconut husk is a waste left over after extraction of fiber from the coconut husk. Coconut shell is endocarp of the coconut fruit. It is available in large quantities near copra making center or desiccated copra making center. It can be used as a fuel and manufacturing of fancy articles. Since coconut shells are available in different sizes and shapes, it can be polished and carbon and decorated with lacquer in lacquer in load with ivory, silver or other metals. Large volumes of coconut water from ripeners are run off as waste product by copra manufacturer. The biochemical analysis of coconut water shows negligible amount of sugar. It can be used as a growth media, rubber coagulant and soft drink. In view of the relatively high potassium content, coconut water can be mixed with compost or can be applied directly to coconut palms after mixing with slag lime. The grapes are used in five different ways such as table purpose, canned juice, wine and raisins. Stem, pomace and seeds are main byproducts of grape industry. Stem separated from grapes normally constitute about 5% of the original weight of grapes. The stems can yield cream of tartar, potassium tartrate. The pomace consists of pressed skin and seeds. The pomace can be used for preparation of grape jelly and chutney. It can also be used for preparation of animal feed. Pomace must be dried to less than 10% moisture in order to prevent spoilage by molding. molding and spontaneous heating grape mark can be used for preparation of pectin argols is potassium hydrogen tartrate can be obtained from grape juice settlings guava is grown all over the country in tropics and subtropics it is rich source of vitamin c and pectin it is used for table purpose and for processing to prepare jelly nectar juice cheese powder and canned guava Guava peel, seeds, pulp and core are the main byproducts of guava fruit. This can be utilized to prepare cheese separately as well as collectively or animal feed. Cheese prepared from peelings only is brown in color and a satisfactory flavor and good set whereas cheese from seed is dark brown in color, sticky and has soft texture and good flavor. Cheese from seed is dark brown in color. Jack jackfruit is very popular in eastern and southern parts of the country. The fruit has high nutritive value and is and is rich source of pectin. It is preserved into pickles, dehydrated leather, thin pulp, and canned product. Nectar can also be prepared from pulp. The skin and leaves are excellent cattle feed. Seed, thick rind, and broken bulbs are the main product of jackfruit. Broken bulbs are used to prepare leather. Thick rind with inner perigones can be used for preparation of jelly and pectin. Seeds can be roasted to be used as snack food. Seeds can also be grinded into flour which can be blended with other cereal flours for preparation of products. Mango because of its luscious taste, captivating flavor and great utility it is called the king of fruits or shahi fruit. It is a major fruit crop grown throughout India. Unripe fruits because of their acidic taste are utilized for culinary purposes as well as for preparing pickles, chutney, panna and amchur. Ripe fruits are utilized in preparing pulp, squash, juice, nectar, jam, cereal flakes, dehydrated slices, powder, mango leather, and toffee. Some mangoes are also sliced and canned for catering to the needs of the consumer during off season. The waste is constituted about fifty percent of the weight of fresh mangoes. Peel and kernel are the waste is from green mangoes as well as ripe mangoes. Pulping machine generates processing wastes. Mango kernel contains about 8.5% pure fiber and 30, uh, 75% and free extract.
Starch obtained from seed kernel can be used to partly replace wheat atta for making chapatis. Oil, which forms about 12% of the weight of the kernel, is another byproduct. Pectin and fiber can be extracted from peel and processing waste as vinegar, citric acid, etc. can be obtained by fermentation of processing waste. The mango waste can also be utilized as animal feed or compost. Papaya is an important fruit of tropics and subtropics. In India, though it is successfully grown all over the country, the important papaya growing states are Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Assam, Gujarat and Maharashtra. Papaya is a wholesome fruit and ranks second only to mango as source of precursor of vitamin A. Undried fruits are commonly used as vegetable for cooking, much tenderizer and preparation of tutti frutti. The ripe fruits are used for table purpose and processed for preparation of jam, soft drink, ice cream flavoring, crystallized fruits and syrup. Papaya waste are usually peel and trimmings can be used to get proteolytic enzyme papain, which has number of applications in textile, cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries. Pectin can also be recovered from papaya waste. Passion fruit is adapted to tropics and subtropic areas with high rainfall. It is a fruit with unique flavor and aroma. Fruit is cut in halves and the pulp scooped out and eaten fresh or added to fruit salad, ice creams or fruit juices. It is processed into fruit nectar, juice, jam, jelly, squash and concentrate. The main waste of passion fruit are hard rind and seeds. Thick hard rind of this fruit can be used for recovery of pectin, whereas seeds are utilized for extracting oil and pectin. Peach are now being grown commercially in certain areas of the North Indian plains and northwestern states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttaranchal. Peach kernel is the main waste material which can be used for extraction of extraction of kernel oil for industrial uses. Pure is mainly grown in the northwestern Indian states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal and certain areas of North Indian plains. Peel and Core are the main waste byproduct obtained from the pure and both are used to prepare alcoholic beverage as well as fruit vinegar. Pineapple is most wanted tropical fruit. In India, it is grown mostly in West Bengal, Manipur, Meghalaya, Assam and Tamil Nadu. Pineapple is a good source of vitamin A, B and C and calcium and phosphorus. The processed products from pineapples are slices in cans, tidbits, juice, squash, jam and candy. Pineapple waste is constituted 40 to 50 percent of the fruit weight. Shells, trimmings, peel, and pomace are the main waste and the byproducts of this fruit. Shells and trimmings are utilized to recover pineapple juice mixed with cane sugar syrup for the further use in canning of pineapple slices. The juice has also been found useful for preparation of alcohol. The core of pineapple can be used to prepare candies as well as extraction of juice. The press cake from the juice can be used as animal feed. The pomace obtained after extraction of juice from peeled fruit, trimmings and cores can also be used as animal feed. Other products which can be prepared from this waste are alcohol, citric acid, man manosidase, oxalic acid, pineapple gum, flavor and vinegar. Leaves are used for making fine fabric called pina cloth. Tomato is an important vegetable uh, important vegetable crop available around the year. It outranks all other vegetables except potato crop in popularity and value. It is grown universally in farmers' field, home gardens and greenhouses. Peel, season and pomace are the waste obtained during processing of tomato into juice, concentrate, ketchup and sauce. When tomato is canned in lime and sugar solution, some peel and seeds are obtained as wastes. The pomace is either thrown away or used in preparation of compost. Seeds are washed, dried and used for propagation. Edible grade seed oil can also be extracted from seeds. Tomato peel can be utilized for preparation of varnishing and arranging seed oil which compare with, well with vitamin E and can be used as salad oil and in the manufacturing of margarine. The seed meal can be used in fields as fertilizers and also for the preparation of surfactants such as vet veterinary agents and detergents, agents and detergents, etc. The mark constitutes about 12 to 13 percent of tomato. Onion is one of the most important commercial vegetable crops grown in North as well as in South India. The most important onion growing states are Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and Punjab. Onions are used as salad and cooked in various ways in all curries, fried, boiled, baked, soup, pickles, etc. 
The roots are framed and the outside skin peeled off leaving the stem clean for further storage or marketing. Trimmings are obtained as onion wastes. These trimmings are either thrown away or used as compost. The floor component, the flat component can be extracted from this waste. During handling and grading operations and dehydration loss, outer scales are rubbed off. This can also be used as compost. Potato is the maximum produced vegetable crop in India. About 80% of dry matter of potato is starch, which occurs in the form of granules of large size than that, those of cereals. Raw potato is generally boiled, cooked, baked or processed into various products such as chips, fingers, cubes, extruded and flour. Potato peel and starch are the waste and byproducts obtained during potato processing. Potato peel can be used for preparation of alcoholic beverages as well as compost. Starch is utilized as flour or in cosmetic industry. Cauliflower is an important coal crop. Indian's production of cauliflower in, is the, in the world is highest. It is an important winter session vegetable. It is grown for its white tender, known for its white tender head or curd. It is used as vegetables in curry, soups, stuffings in parathas and for pickles. It contains good amount of vitamins and fair amount of protein. Plants are cut below the head and leaves trimmed off. Starks and trimmings are the main bases obtained from cauliflower, cauliflower, both in the field as well as in the processing industries. These stalks and trimmings can be used as cattle feed. Okra, lettuce finger, is a warm season vegetable crop. It is cultivated throughout the India for its immature fruits which are generally cooked as vegetable. Okra soup and stew are popular dishes. Black or brown seeds or ripened okra of ripened okra are roasted and used as a substitute for coffee. The waste is available in the fields such as stem of the plant is used for the extraction of fiber in paper industry. Stocks, stocks are the main byproduct in the leading processing industry which can be used as animal feed. Peas is a vegetable crop important from agricultural economy as well as nutrition point of view. Peas are highly nutritive and contain a high percentage of digestible protein along with carbohydrates and vitamins. It is an excellent food taken either as a vegetable or in soup, canned, frozen and or dehydrated form. The winnings and rolls are the main waste material from green peas. These wastes can be directly fed to animals or can be dried to make ingredients in animal feed. These wastes are also used as compost. Byproducts from fruit and vegetable wastes The solid waste obtained from Processing of fruits and vegetables is not really a waste but sometimes is an asset. A number of byproducts may be obtained from the waste. Some byproducts are extracted chemically while others are prepared by using the waste as such. Fat mango processing ends up in considerable proportion of peel and stones. On the average, stone content in mango is about 15%. India produces around 21 lakh tons mango stones or 16 lakh tons kernels. The kernel is obtained by decorticating the seed. The estimated fat content in mango kernel is more than 10%. If we can collect, the pro collect and process half of the tons, India can produce about 80,000 tons mango fat. Magus, maga, magus is a seed kernel. You can obtain magus by decorticating the seeds of cucumber, pumpkin, watermelon, muskmelon, etc. This having a big market in confectionery, bakery, ice creams and beverages. Apricot kernel is sweet and taste. It looks like almond. It is used in confectionery along with almond. It is also used to improve the appearance of apricot jam. Magas production can be a good household industry. Starch mango kernel obtained after decorticating the seed and banana pseudo stem are good sources of starch. Banana plants provide about 5% edible starch. Presently, more than 140 tons of starch is available from mango seed kernel and 4, 4 to 5 tons starch per thousand banana peel plants is available. Tutti frutti, tutti frutti, the papaya and extracted papaya and watermelon weaned after removal of green portion are most suited for the production of tutti frutti. For this, raw material is needed to cut into small cubes and dipped in sugar syrup. You can give any color to the syrup of your choice. The tutti frutti is used in cakes, ice creams, bakery products, etc. Amchur, a pickle, large quantities of dropped green mangoes are available in 
or cats after dust and thunderstorms. These dwarf mangoes may be used for the preparation of pickle, amchur and raw mango slices. Food grade flavor citrus is a good source of flavor. It is a byproduct from sh shaved citrus peel. You can obtain the shaved peel by shaving the spongy albedo layer of the peel and then the flavor is extracted. The flavor life is enhanced by encapsulation so it is adapted to keep the citrus oil based flavor safe. Chutney can you, uh, the fresh apple pomace, grey pomace, mango to and tomato wastes to prepare chutney of various tastes and colors. Edible oil. You can obtain edible oil from apricot kernel, grapeseed and citrus seed. Apricot oil and kernel paste are used like almond oil and paste in cosmetics and pharmaceutical preparations. Grape oil is used to produce grape resins of lustrous appearance. Tomato seed oil is golden in color. It is used as salad oil. Cheese and halwa, guava coat, seeds and peel are utilized for the preparation of cheese and halwa. There are certain varieties of banana which have thick peel. The pulpy portion from the thick peel is scraped and used to make cheese. Flat and fortified atta you can fortified atta can be prepared can prepare flour of drag fruit seeds, mango kernel and residues left after extracting juice or the unmarketable surplus of fruits like anola and jamun and vegetables like carrot, radish, spinach, tomato, bitter grad, etc. by drying and powdering. The flour may be blended with cereal flour. This powder can be mixed with the wheat flour in 1.5 to 3 proportions. This flour contains 5.56 to 11.5 percent protein, 16.1 percent fat, 0.35 percent minerals, and 69.2 percent carbohydrate. Can be marketed as a health protective flour. Jam and jelly can jam and jelly for jam and jelly. Apple pomace can be used to make jelly. The thick green and inner Perigons of jackfruit is also used for preparation of high class jelly. White apricot kernel is used to apricot jam to make it more attractive. Marmalade, marmalade is prepared from citrus peel. The process involving washing of fruit peel, slicing or com comminuting the peel, boiling to tenderize and remove bitterness, cooking with sugar or fruit syrup, and adding pectin. Candied peel. Can be prepared from orange or grapefruit peel. The primary use is in baking, while a candied peel is condiment used for flavor, appearance, and texture in products like fruit cakes. The peels are cooked to tenderize, remove bitterness, and undesirable flavors drain and dice. The diced peel is equilibrated and cooked in sugar syrup, and food dyes are added. The final product is drained, air dried, and packaged in polyethylene containers after coating with fine dust of cornstarch. Citrus purees and bases. Citrus uh, purees for citrus pur purees and bases. Citrus pulp and unconsumed fruits can be used to manufacture purees and bases. Preparation generally involves grinding, pasteurizing, addition of pectinase to reduce viscosity. Comminuting to make a paste or smooth puree followed by sieving to remove broken seed hulls and non disintegrated particles. Different preparations are used for different product based purees. Industrial products from fruit and vegetable wastes. Apart from utilizing the solid waste for preparation of some products as some products, it could also be used for preparation of some industrial products. Like industrial oil, cash, industrial oil, cashew oil con shell, cashew shell contains about 20% oil and resin. This can be used for insulation of electric wiring, brake lining, and preparing foundry molds and co cores. In many countries, cashew shell is finding better place. For food, feed, fuel and industrial products than the cashew nuts. Other source of sweet and bitter oil are the waste of wild apricots, peach kernels, citrus seeds and tomato seed. These oils are used in cosmetic and pharmaceutical and after refining in food items. Pectin is a byproduct of mango and citrus peel, apple pomace, raw papaya, cashew apple, etc. Pectin is used for making jam, pharmaceutical preparation, and industrial uses. Citrus wastes are a rich source of essential oil. They, we, can, we can extract peel oil in small scale units. For such units, for such units, we can get fresh peel, peel from fresh juice vending stands. There are two systems of oil extraction.
one cold pressing and second steam distillation. The current production of potential essential oil is more than 15,000 tons per annum. Natural color. Coal tar dyes have carcinogenic effects, therefore it is better to replace them as rapidly as possible with the herbal or natural colors. Industries are now extracting colors from blue grape skins, kokum, falsa, jamun, safflower, etc. Methods are also available to produce color concentrates and powders. For cups and plates, banana plate contains 20 to 25 green plant con banana plant contain 20 to 25 green leaves. Farmers harvest banana along with the plant. The green and dried leaves are used to prepare disposable cups and plates to serve meals. Other industrial uses besides the products described above, there are numerous other items which can be prepared from the fruit and vegetable wastes. The important ones are like citric acid, citric acid from lemon peel, varnish and resins from resin from tomato peel, surfactants, wetting agents and detergents from tomato seed meal, citrus seed and mango kernel oils for soaps and detergents, glucosides and bioflavins, antioxidants from citrus peel, papaya latex, latex for proteolytic enzyme papain, paper pulp from banana stem, fiber from pineapple leaves, mango peel and apple pomace. Animal feed from wastes. Waste and byproducts obtained from fruits and vegetables are a good source of cattle and poultry feed. Citrus wet peel 24 ci Citrus peel for food, feed, feed, fuel and industrial products. Citrus peel contains 6% protein, 5% fat, 12% crude fiber, 7% ash and about 60% nitrogen free extract. Wet peel contains 70 to 90% moisture. Wet peel or fresh peel is consumed by animals directly. This practice is feasible only in the close vicinity of peel availability. Life of wet peel is very short due to rapid decay and sap leakage to transport trailer. It is transportable to only short distance. We can overcome this problem by pressing the wet peel where about 10% moisture is removed. This is called press liquor. Before pressing, it must be the peel must be treated by lime. Storable and transportability of lime treated, pre treated pressed peel is more as compared to wet peel. Citrus dried peel. Dried citrus peel is the most common form of animal feed. Before drying, peel is shredded and treated with 0.2% lime. The lime aids in breaking down the pectin and in turn releasing the pectin bond moisture. The peel is then pressed to remove the moisture. The peel is dried mechanically or in the sun. Process the dried peel into pellets or powder bags. Brand. Citric mol uh, we can use this citric molasses as a binding agent. Pellets are easy to feed, easy to store and easy to handle and transport. Skin coat trimming shreds and leaves skin coat shreds, leaves and pomace make a good cattle feed. One can feed them directly to the animals or dry for future use in various forms. We can ensile them with rice, wheat straw or with stuffs of millets and maize in one to ten proportion and with 1% molasses and 0.2% urea. White pi wet pineapple bran, the pineapple skin and ends are the major source of pineapple bran. The process involves maceration of the material and pressing. The pressed material is called wet pineapple bran. In this state, it is easier to handle and store for short duration. Dry pineapple bran, it is dried form of wet bran. The dried stuff is easy to handle, store and transport. The citrus peel, pomace of different fruits, residues of vegetables and pineapple bran can be dried in sun, polyhouse or rotary dryer. The pineapple press liquor has about the same composition as pineapple juice. It can be concentrated and mixed with bran. You can sell such bran in, we can sell such bran in market as concentrated feed for animal. Poultry feed can be prepared from banana peel, mango seed kernel, dried mango peel and citrus and tomato seeds. The dried peel is milled and used as poultry feed. The citrus meal contains 32.5% protein, 7.5% fat, 8% crude fiber. Tomato seed meal contains 37% protein. It is energy food for poultry feed. Similarly, apricot kernel oil cake is also rich in protein. Tomato waste is available in the form of field, seed and pomace. After extracting vanish from peel and oil from seed, we get mark or solids. This amount to 12.4 percentage of fresh tomatoes. The mark contains 8 to 10 percent. 
8 to 10 percent protein 10 to 12 percent fat therefore it is a good source of cattle feed molasses the extract of mango and citrus waste such as peel peel juice pomace and trimmings is raw materials to produce feed grade molasses it can be either fed into the animals in liquid form or convert it into molasses the waste is collected and the lime is added to rise the ph a reaction time of about 18 minutes is given in the mixing tank the mixture is pressed and the pressed liquor liquor is called collected in a tank the residue left after extraction of pressed liquor is dried the pressed liquor is concentrated into molasses by evaporating the liquor to a brix value of 72 Pulp wash recovery and utilization. Pulp washing process during the process of juice extraction, we get pulp and pulpy juice as byproducts. Scientifically, they are called water extracted soluble fruit solids or washed pulp solids. For efficient extraction, we can use four staged countercurrent pulp washing system. Each stage has screw type mixing device. The pulp put into the process at stage 1 excess exits at stage 4 as pent pulp. Pure water enters at stage 4 and exits at stage 1 as the pulp wash or strong liquor. The average bricks value of orange pulp wash are in the range of 4 to 7 bricks. The spent pulp goes for feed. The pulp wash is either concentrated or combined with juice which goes for concentration. Towards the end of fruit season, soluble pectin in the pulp wash increases. This happens especially in grapefruits. The soluble pectin increases viscosity of the strong liquor which retards the concentration process of strong liquor. We can use pectinolytic enzymes to overcome these problems. This enzyme facilitates in viscosity reduction. Manufacturers of juice, beverages and drink products use pulp wash concentrate. This adds fruit solids and natural cloudiness to juice and beverages. This is also cheaper than juice concentrate. Juice pulp recovery during juice recovery during juice recovery, the juice contains part of the ruptured juice vesicles or floating pulp. This pulp is recovered as a byproduct. The juice first goes to a paddle finisher to remove seeds and rag. Then the pulpy juice passes to a conical cyclone separator called hydro cyclone to remove the embryonic seeds and other defects. The pulpy juice comes out at the top of the hydrocyclone and goes to pasteurizer and again to finisher screen for separation of pulp and juice. This pulp is used for blending in juice concentrates. It adds texture, body and pulpy character to the reconstituted juices or drinks. Wall juice sacs or edible tissues. The dried juice sac is a byproduct of juice from grapefruits and lemons. It has application in number of fruit products. It is a functional food ingredient. It imparts textural properties. Increase, it also increases the water binding and retention property of products. The dried juice sacks hydrate readily. It can mu mute flavor in some food products. The potential uses are to provide pulp for dry beverage mixes, to provide thickening or gelling in jams, sauces, fiber breads, cake, cookies and cereals. To separate out the snacks, you need to peel and sectionize the fruit. After that, carry out vigorous agitating and rinsing. The sacs start, sacs start floating in the mixture, which recovered by passing the mixture over a vibrating screen. Now dry the sacs carefully in the polyhouse or mechanical dryer. Peel fiber. Considerable interest has been generated recently in using the fiber in human diet. It is a byproduct left after pectin recovery from peel of many fruits like citrus, apple, mango, etc. The pectin-free the pectin free dried peel contains about 60% dietary fiber. This fiber ranks with cereal bran in importance. The manufacturing process involves chopping the residue into small pieces, reacting with calcium hydroxide, pressing to remove soluble sugars and water, blending with sesame flour, dehydration to 8% moisture and milling to an acceptable small particle size. It is already clear that the wastes from fruits and vegetable processing industries are valuable natural sources for many 
products they have in our enormous economic potential we can make a number of value added products from these wastes principally the waste include water and organic substances the organic substances are simple and complex complex polysaccharides like sugars starch pectin etc vitamins and minerals utilization of the waste water has been utilization of the waste water is also done here conversion of organic substances into value added products through microbial through microbial fermentation technologies are done the value added products obtained from fruits and vegetable wastes are fermented edible products single cell proteins animal feed ethanol enzyme food additives organic compounds biogas fermentable edible products can be prepared from a number of two fermentable edible products a uh, number of beverages are prepared such as cider beer wine brandy vinegar by fermentation of fruit wastes cider dry for cider dried curled under size sub, sub stranded and unmarketable surplus of apples grapes oranges pineapple and their by products such as pomace are suitable for cider making cider is obtained by combining the distillates from fermented pomace with fermented juice it contains 1 to 8% alcohol 4% acetic acid 5 ppm of copper 10 ppm iron and 1 ppm lead for vinegar mango peel stones mango peels and stones are used to prepare mango vinegar the fermentable sugars add to the fruit processing waste it is an ideal substrate for fermentation The alcoholic level in this fermentation remains between two point five to three point five percent. This quantity is not sufficient for alcoholic fermentation. Therefore, it is necessary to raise this level by conducting a secondary fermentation or by adding cane sugar. The batch type process takes three to twelve days for completion. It is possible to produce mango vinegar by, re- by recycling of Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Im- immobilized Acetobacter acetae. The good quality vinegar will have 5.3 percent acetic acid, light yellow color, and pleasant flavor. Similarly, vinegar from the substandard and unmarketable fruits of plum, pineapple, banana can also be prepared. Single cell proteins is a non-conventional source of protein. Microbial growth and microbial biomass are the basis for single cell proteins. A number of organisms like yeast, fungi, algae, and bacteria are employed for the production of SCP. SCP can be used as protein supplement for food and feed. Different ways support the growth of different microorganisms. The microorganisms use these substances as starting materials for fermentation and SCP production by assimilation. Assimilation. Animal feed. The waste is obtained from processing of fruits and vegetables are rich in fiber but poor in protein content. Owing to their low protein content and low digestibility, these are poor sources of animal feed. The feed value can be increased The feed value of these waste materials can be increased to substrate fermentation technique. The various substrates and microorganisms employed for the animal feed. The substrate pectin extracted apple pomace. The microorganism used will be Trichoderma vividae, and the effect of protein content or beard is thirty five uh, percentage content protein. Ethanol can be produced from wastes of fruits and vegetable. processing industries this waste is are rich in cellulose hemicellulose and lignins solid state fermentation technique is useful to produce ethanol the ethanol has several uses such as liquid fuel or uh, liquid fuel supplement or solvent for many industries apple pomace cherry wastes citrus wastes etc can produce ethanol by employing saccharomyces cerevisiae candia utilize and torula uh, and torula for apple pomace Saccharomyces cerevisiae for citrus waste and E. coli and uh, Klebsiella oxaloca for lignocellulosic wastes. Submerged fermentation and solid state fermentation techniques are useful in enzyme production. Food production industries have wider application of various enzymes. Different enzymes can be produced by fermenting different wastes of fruits and vegetables. For this, it, it is needed. For this, we need different types of microorganisms to produce cellulase and silinase enzymes from apple pomace. 
when it trichoderma viride and aspergillus species as microorganisms similarly to produce cellulose silinase and lignine lignase from grapevine waste we need cerana unicolor unicolor food additives brewery wastes apple pomace pineapple residues molasses sweet potato residues mandarin orange wastes grape pomace etc are potential source for citric acid production industries utilize solid state fermentation technique to produce citric acid on commercial scale they use microorganisms as bacillus niger for solid state fermentation we can also produce pectin by growing microorganisms on wastes trichosporin penicillin penicilliatum is the most common microorganism grown over citrus peel for production of pectin this pectin has a high level of neutral sugar and molecular weight the use of colors to the food is an ancient practice earlier people used natural colors now but now the people have turned to the called tar dyes these synthetic colors adversely affect our health on the other hand microbial colors have anti neoplastic property activity therefore encouragement is being given to produce microbial colors from the waste of fruits and vegetables organic compounds like butamol acetone citric acid lactic acid and acetic acid are produced through microbial fermentation of waste waste molasses Tryptobutylenes glycol can be produced by fermenting citrus peel juice and citrus waste after adding molasses. Biogas is an important byproduct prepared from numerous agricultural wastes. Fruit and vegetable processing waste is rich in biodegradable substances and can be used for the production of biogas. It is produced by anaerobic digestion of the waste. Methanotropic bacteria like Methanobacterium and Methanococcus species have the ability to utilize carbon dioxide from these wastes to produce methane, a biogas. Sometimes pre-treatment of the waste is useful for higher methane production. Goodbye for today. Continue your studies with iiocs.com food tech club. For any queries, contact the number on the screen.